Hey guys, it's Sims HQ, and what I want to talk to you guys about today is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 not having a single player campaign, and that they're maybe adding a battle royale mode, and that is pretty interesting because, you know, this is the first time that we might be getting a Call of Duty without a campaign mode, and uh, for me, I'm a really big fan of the Call of Duty campaigns, especially Modern Warfare 2, 3, all the, actually all the Modern Warfare series I really loved, and Black Ops, and the Black Ops series. You know, excluding Black Ops 3, because Black Ops 3 was pretty confusing. I really didn't understand that campaign. I really prefer, you know, the Mason and Frank Wood story. But, uh, you know, hearing about not having a campaign, I feel like it's it's maybe the right move for Call of Duty. Since, you know, no one really buys Call of Duty for the campaign most of the time. And Call of Duty usually makes most of their money from the multiplayer. You know, uh, they added COD points now and most people buy that. And from they make money from supply drops and DLCs, and I feel like uh, this will give them a bigger opportunity to you know add more stuff to the game, add more features with the multiplayer, and you know the multiplayer is gonna have more content uh, at launch. So I feel like this is the right move, a good business move for Activision. And I actually don't even care anymore, man. I don't really care about campaigns. Like I played the World War II campaign. Like I, I mostly played all the campaigns except you know Infinite Warfare. I played like a little bit of it, but. I, I never bought Infinite Warfare, that's why I never finished it, but I heard it was good. Most of the COD campaigns are good, but, you know, World War II, something about it, it was just like, you know, any other campaign. Like, if you really want to pl play a campaign, you know, just, there's so much first-person shooters out there that have campaigns, you just play that. Or they can probably make a Call of Duty that's just based on story mode, not multiplayer. So, uh, Battle Royale could actually change Call of Duty forever, and... You know, Call of Duty needs some innovation. No one wants to play the same game over and over and over again. And I get that. And I feel like what really makes Call of Duty is, you know, innovation. Like, that's why people buy Call of Duty in the first place. Because, like, there's new things being added to the game. And nowadays, you know, you don't really see too much things being added to the next Call of Duty. It's always the same formula. So, I feel like they have to make this change, add a new game mode. And that would, and in fact, you know, make more, you know, money when people buy the game. Like, people are going to want to buy the game because Call of Duty is different, it's changed, it, it's innovative. You know, if you think about it, why would you use Black Ops name if you're not going to have campaign? I feel like they use Black Ops so, you know, they can make more money. I mean, a lot of people love the Black Ops series and they know that, so they're going to take advantage of the title and they're going to use that for the game and, you know, more people are going to be sucked in into buying, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And, you know, Black Ops 4 sounds really nice, it sounds interesting, it sounds... Like it's gonna be a good game, and Treyarch has a good reputation in the gaming community, the Call of Duty community, and they're considered, you know, the gods of, you know, the Call of Duty games. So, um, I'm pretty, honestly, excited for this Call of Duty. The reveal event is next month, and I can't wait for that. I, I can't wait what they'll show. Uh, maybe this could not be true. Maybe it's just rumors. But most of these, you know, sources are coming from Polygon and stuff, and uh, Charlie Intel. So most of them seem pretty legit. Uh, aside from that, Moldover 2 Remastered, I don't know if we're going to get that. I mean, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and that placeholder date was April 30th, and we still have no details whatsoever except from the rumors. Like, there's no confirmation of that uh, Mall Warfare 2 Remastered is going to happen, and that's kind of saddening, but at least we're getting Black Ops 4. Next year, they might release Mall Warfare 2 Remastered. Who knows? I don't even know what's going on anymore. But this is just an update, and this is just my thoughts on the Call of Duty Battle Royale mode. Uh, I feel like Battle Royale would really work with Call of Duty, and I'm not sure if it will work first person, third person, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I prefer first person since, you know, Call of Duty works best as a first person, but, you know, Battle Royale? Sounds good, man. I, I mean, Fortnite's getting, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's kind of getting repetitive, you know, same maps, no new locations. Maybe they're gonna add some, they always add, new stuff to the game and i get that it's only early access but you know that's just how it is so that's just my thoughts on what's been happening lately with black Ops 4 and i can't wait to see that reveal trailer and uh, i'll be watching that live stream you know i'll be there so thanks guys for watching man you know i hope you enjoy guys enjoyed this gameplay in the background uh it was pretty good i really went flawless in this game and yeah, guys, I'm honestly excited. I'm also going to get a new microphone, right? I told you guys. So once I get that new microphone, I can finally record, you know, live commentaries. Like, when I'm playing, you'll just hear me talking and stuff. And it's all going to be live. You know, it's not going to be, like, a gameplay. And then I'm going to, 
you know, record the audio after. It's going to be full-on live commentary. So thanks, guys, for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications to stay updated with, you know, my channel. And, you know, I mostly upload daily depending on the day. And, yeah, guys, it's Tevis HQ, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. And I'll see you guys in the next one.